and another day on the dodge. Get all this stuff off of here. I just need to get this radiator out of here. Oh, bam. And I already got the uh, battery out. Um, I just tied these with some tape to keep them from leaking and stuff. Kind of the same thing I did on this one way down here. Got the radiator over here out of the way. Battery up there on the, off the ground. Um, really, I just need to start pulling everything off the front of the engine, give myself a little bit more room. Uh, it's a pretty good spot. We'll lose it that way at least. Why don't you get all your wire and you plug off a couple of bolts. Hey. Move that guy out of the way. I gotta take this bad boy off. This bolt, got four here, plug on the side. Should just put right out there. There we go. These AC pumps really aren't that light. And once the AC pump is out, um, go ahead and get your box, throttle body, a couple plugs back there, four bolts holding it in. Um, also got to get this linkage, everything out of the way, unhooked. And can't forget the throttle body. Or not throttle body, but cool packs. And once you got all of that off, then you got a few bolts in the back. You got you got some big ones that go on the outside right here, the very outside bottom. And then you got some up here for shorter, skinnier ones. The big ones will not go in these top four, so I really can't get them confused. Um, and after that, you want to loosen up your motor mounts on either side, which I already got done. And then now I'm going to move the cherry picker up and see if we can yank it out. And just like that, it's out. Um, I did have to make it easier for me. These three holes right here um, go to the uh, motor mounts, but it's a lot easier instead of taking that bolt out and trying to get it up over this this little hump here. It's a lot easier just taking those three out once you got once you got some weight on. Yeah, mine's really lopsided, but I didn't know it was going to do that. Um, you're going to get tranny fluid everywhere as soon as you yank it out. See how my input shaft looks. Yeah, it's billet, so I ain't gonna get run. The brand new pump. Everything's so dirty on the outside, but it's so nice on the inside. And then I got the uh, torque converter here and the uh, plate behind it. I'm gonna have to put on that motor. Now I just need to get this on the ground. But before I get it on the ground, I wanna show you guys something. There's uh, a bushing underneath your transmission right here. It's got two bolts underneath this big old skid plate, but it's better to don't take them out all the way because you don't want to get them stuck up there. But just back them off all the way about as far down as you can without them coming off. Helps the transmission lift up. That way, when you're lifting up your engine, it'll come out a lot easier. <sighs> Woo, that was scary. Um, the motor actually fell. It uh, didn't hurt anything though. I don't really care about the motor, but transmission lines are good. Everything else seems to be okay. I didn't fall on any of these lines or cords. It fell mostly on this side over here. Okay, never mind. I got a, a dent where that oil, oil filter hit. Yep. Good thing these bumpers are cheap. <laughs> but yeah, oh boy. And once you get your torque converter off, there's only just a few bolts, like five. Just five little bolts or six. It goes around, holds it on the back. I just clamp it right here and torque it. It's it's a lot easier. Same thing with uh, these guys. And then we're going to get that off. Uh, it's getting dark, guys. Uh, I got the flywheel off and I don't have... I got all that replaced. New seal, everything like that. I got my... I'll retorque it tomorrow. Got my metal thermostat that I love so much. Uh, fuel rails from the other guy because uh, those had different injectors on this other motor. And uh, let's see, that's pretty much it. I just gotta make sure I get everything off of this engine that I want on this guy. I'm gonna pretty much call it a night, guys, because I mean, 
tomorrow I'm gonna have to come out here and spray off all of that it's dirty it is so dirty in here you guys can kind of see it kinda but I'm gonna go ahead and tape up all my plugs anything that I think will get wet block off the uh, bell housing because I don't really want to get water in there and uh, don't really care about the exhaust um, yeah but I'm gonna come back out here tomorrow and clean this up again because that mud's starting to cake up. I haven't power washed it, really done anything to it in, in like three months. I haven't sprayed underneath the hood. I mean, it's she dirty. But yeah, tomorrow we'll, uh, so we can get done on this guy, just get it all dressed up, buttoned up, get the uh, intake back on it, get the flywheel torque converter, which is all over here. The fan, I gotta get that on too. Went ahead and replaced this. Right here, it turns out somebody already had a smog pump delete pulley on here, and when I went to take it off, I noticed that they honed out the very top. So I'm, I just replaced it with a good, good pulley. Good pulley here spins nicely. Even WD-40 them. Um, then yeah, after we get everything pretty much done, we're gonna go ahead and stick it back in there. I just gotta clean this thing out, and then uh, should be okay. So. Uh, See what happens tomorrow. And if you guys made it this far, um, I went ahead and ordered the uh, shock delete plates for the uh, shock towers. And um, and we're going up two and a half inches in the front, two inches in the back. But we're going to stay like that. But uh, yeah, as soon as I get this truck done, get the new motor in. Over oh, get the new motor in. Let me um, in. Let me we should go. <laughs> she's on the in. phone. That's my wife. She's she's she gets dumb with her mama. Let's see if you guys can see her. She's sitting right there. <laughs> we're right there. Yes, we're right there. Like right there. She's talking to her mama. But um, yeah. As soon as we get the uh, yeah. motor in, we can lift her up a little bit and then go have some fun. But. See you guys tomorrow.